In this episode of Solitude and Sailing, we take the 1965 O'Day Osprey sailing vessel Couscous to a lake in New Hampshire and test out the new colorful Genoa. Here we go. Got all the camping stuff together, fire pit, all the oars, inflatable kayaks, cooler. Now, gotta get the, uh, the stay sailor ready. The couscous, we're gonna go. All right, fully loaded, ready to go. Back of the pickup is full of stuff. <laughs> and this thing is full of stuff. I got stuff padded, some of the, um, some of the things here the mast and the motor so that way it's not dinging around and chipping up my fresh paint job all right let's go we are off to new hampshire yep. let's do it we made it to new hampshire mm -hmm. we're at the lodge the next step is going to be to bring the boat to the water What a beautiful location for a weekend retreat. Sailing vessel Couscous is looking forward to hopping in that lake and getting splashed today. Of course, there's nothing like a good cup of coffee with family and friends. Every sailor loves his coffee. I typically like to raise my mast and prepare the boat for launch prior to arriving to the ramp. But due to power lines just at the entryway to the ramp, I had to do this here. Fortunately, the traffic was not so much that I prevented or delayed anyone else from launching their boat. After a little bit of a struggle, we got her out on the water. I'm using the small main, the store main, instead of the regular main. This is Sergio's first time on the boat. Sergio, say what's up. What's up? <laughs> We're out in New Hampshire on the lake. Who's that? It was a struggle. This is from the YouTube for sail solitude and sailing. So it's your first time on a sailboat, huh? Yeah. All right. So you said you like um, playing soccer, basketball, running track. Yeah. Yep. You did uh, Special Olympics. Mm -hmm. How'd you do in Special Olympics? Good. Awesome, awesome. And how'd you do? Uh, how'd you do in school? Good. Awesome. Excellent. What do you think about sailing? Good. Is it peaceful? Mm -hmm. Can you hear the water? You yeah. hear the you hear the wind? It's a good time. And then we already did a couple of tacks. That's when we had the boat go back and forth. Yeah. So maybe if we come on again, we'll use the bigger sail next time. It'll be a little bit easier. We get we'll go a little bit faster. But we wanted to do some teaching first with the small sail. And honestly. <laughs> if somebody got me on the on their security camera or whatever launching this boat in the beginning from shore wow sergio it was it was it was funny wasn't it yeah. we kept getting stuck i couldn't get the center board down and we, we, we were getting blown around here you go wind's picking up wind's picking up speed's picking up yeah that's it yeah let's go boy I did not bring my uh, wind muffler, microphone muffler with me. So I'm gonna have to be doing some voiceovers over here. But we're cruising. We're moving, it's a beautiful lake. There's the island over there. Yep. We gotta go and meet the wife at the beach. Hey. Uh-oh, I don't see her. Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble. Let's go. So we're here on a retreat with Ambassador's Church. We're gonna have a nice weekend. It's gonna be, what do you think, Serge? What's it gonna be like? It's gonna be off the hook? Yeah. Whoa, a fish just jumped behind us, I think. Hey. All right, wind's dying down. That means we're, we're sculling right now. See what we're doing right here? It's like paddling, but with the, I'm doing it with the rudder. We do have the oars, but, I haven't set up the oar handle, so um, we be we be going sculling <laughs> with the oars too, or paddling like we're on a, a canoe. Canoe. Yep. No wind right now. It'll pick up. We're just passing the beach. Do you see Auntie Katie? 
Hello! Oh, right here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a riot. What a riot. I can't believe how much of a struggle it was. Having trouble with that, getting that center board down. Man, that was just bad planning. Here we are. The water is crystal clear. We're on couscous. Couscous. But now, now we're looking like pros, right? Because yeah. at first, at first we were looking kind of foolish. <laughs> wow, it's it's a little bit tougher launching from a, from a beach than it is from a dock, or from you know where you got a public ramp and you have a public dock. It's a lot easier. You can just have that center board down right from the stop. All right, we're gonna have to tack a little bit here because we're starting to go into shallows. Here we go. Wind's picking up. Shout out to Sergio. My deckhand, first time ever on a boat, first time sailing, in no time he was looking like a pro. We sailed her to shore, tied her up on that cedar. She's really easy to beach, just takes a little more effort to bring her out on the water because you need to get deep enough to lower that centerboard. So we would use the oars to push off until getting out to deeper water. Fortunately, the camp we were staying at set up a dock, so we were able to tie her right up to the dock, making life so much easier. We made it back. Nice and smooth docking. Chilling, relaxing over here. What a beautiful day. Not much wind, hoping, hopefully tomorrow will be a little more wind. We'll be cruising some more. We're at Spofford, we're in New Hampshire. This place is beautiful. Now people are swimming. Memorial Day weekend, power boat is out, um, personal watercraft's out. There's another little sailor. This guy's screaming. Woo! I wonder if he's towing somebody. No, he's just coming in hot. Yeah. Next guy. It's a big lake. Hopefully tomorrow, more wind, more adventure. These guys have been fishing. Watching to see if they pulled anything and I haven't seen something yet. I know there's a bass in here. I've seen some largemouth, smallmouth bass. I've seen trout in here um, there's northern pike in here also there's like virtually no wind but yet we're moving got the big main out we got the orca sail out we're in new hampshire josh is this your first time sailing yeah nice Hi. thank you yeah there you go fun. josh dom and there's the camp Bye guys. <laughs> How much wind do you think we got? Like two, three knots, if that. Yeah. Some kayakers down there. We are colorful right now with this blue hull in this. Uh, just play the wind. We need a little more speed to tack, unless unless we um, scull it yeah. or paddle a little bit. Let's figure out where the wind's coming, then we'll know which, which way to pull it, because we're losing it right now. We might be churning into it. It's a little tougher to tell when there's no wind. It's catching a little bit more. My bad. <laughs> Nothing. The little flies are catching up to us. We are being becalmed on the lake. Got the oars out like Vikings. Here we go. Come on, wind. Where are you? Oh, no, we're going into. We're gonna mini tack. Yeah, go ahead. Imagine getting stuck for days out in the ocean. Yeah, we definitely got a couple of knots 
how the wind does all the work. No more paddling. Putting away the oars. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, it's a good day to practice with chance of wind. Over the weekend, sailing vessel Couscous took more than 20 people out sailing, many of which for the first time. Yeah, we're starting to get some wind and we're starting to move. Hey, you want to Look at the G-Force. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, Couscous on the, on the move. Let yeah, let that sheet out. Oh, he doesn't. What is that? Let's see if you can figure out exactly what that is. There's the brick. <laughs> We're laying foundations over here, Pastor Carol. Laying the foundations. Yes, a brick. Don't worry, it's not a real brick. It's made of foam. It's a prop from the message from Pastor Carol. Only when the storms of life come is when your true foundation is revealed. Your foundation is what holds your life together, keeps your family together, and keeps you grounded. Based upon your confession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This weekend was a spiritual retreat. Not only was it refreshing to the mind, body, and the spirit, it was also renewing. There are moments where we contemplate on the purpose and meaning of life. I hope you take a moment and just refresh your mind, refresh your spirit. You're watching this channel because of the connection with sailing. I find sailing to be a great way of renewing your soul. Altogether, this was a good shakedown experience for a Memorial Day weekend. Well, all good things come to an end. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching another episode of Solitude and Sailing. Don't forget to like and subscribe.